So this is a Jackson Pratt drain that was placed into this patient who came in uh, with a story of perforated or locally contained perforated uh, sigmoid diverticulitis. He developed sharp and severe left lower quadrant abdominal pain about a month ago, went to the ER, had a CT scan that showed diverticulitis with um, a seven centimeter abscess adjacent to the sigmoid. He had this drain placed by interventional radiology. Um, he was discharged home after he was treated with antibiotics and he was able to tolerate a diet. Um, he was told to follow up with his primary care doctor for some reason, but he's here to see me uh, to have this removed. So this is the collection bulb. You can see some fluid in there, which is consistent with what, what you would expect to come out of an abscess cavity. Um, this has not been emptied in two days, so the, the amount that's come out is very, very minimal. Um, so it is time to remove it. So the first key is to, well, we've already taken out all the stuff that's stuck to them except for the bandage, but you want to make sure there's no suction because the whole whole point of this or the whole reason for having this drain is that um, you create bulb suction. So let me just take it off right here. So this is allowing air to go into the bulb. So the way it works is that you collapse the bulb, close the system, it creates a negative pressure vacuum. So it draws up the fluid from wherever the drain is inserted and then it collects the fluid in here. So obviously you don't want it sucking on anything as you remove it. So we're gonna release the suction, like so. Close it back up so we don't spill everything. We're gonna take the bandage off. Gotta be careful not to yank anything out that we don't want to yank out. Prematurely. So this looks like a, a pigtail drain, and then here's a suture holding it in place. So we will remove that skin suture, and then we will release the 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 pigtail has a little um, something in it that keeps it curled up. But we will release that by cutting it in half like that. This comes off there. So we can get rid of this and then we remove the actual drain by doing a little firm steady pressure all right you're gonna this is the part where you're gonna feel okay. a little pinch so we're gonna remove it and then here's a little string that i cut that was holding the shape of the pigtail all that's completely removed we just put a little uh dressing over that little hole in which will heal in the next day or so and this is the this is what was inside of you, uh, and it kind of curls up. So that little st uh, stitch that I cut, when I cut that, uh, allows it to unfold like that. So when it's inserted, and then they, they do something where it kind of just curls up. So it fits into a little abscess space.